With Patriarch and the Universal Church of Truth threatening Earth and beyond, it will be up to the Guardians to turn to an old foe for help. What'll happen next? Well, let's hop into the pages of Guardians of the Galaxy issue number 11 and find out. Alrighty then, so picking up from where the last issue left off, Moondragon, Groot, and the newly returned Rocket Raccoon, complete with his kick-ass mech suit, had undertaken the seemingly suicidal mission of trying to rescue Peter Quill and the rest of their teammates from the Universal Church of Truth. A mission that only became more dangerous and more personal when we see that Patriarch had actually grown an army of Drax the Destroyers. Naturally, Moondragon takes this harder than just about anyone else because Drax is her her father, or at least she thinks so. After she manages to plunge the minds of this Drax Legion, she realized that there's actually nothing left of her father in them. In fact, there may never have been, which means destroying them is perfectly 100% a-okay. Now, normally this is the point of the story where the heroes all rally around each other, push harder than they ever have before, and ultimately end up victorious, right? But no, this final charge actually ends up blowing up in our hero's face, and quite spectacularly. Poor Groot gets absolutely crushed into splinters, and Star-Lord isn't able to reach his father in time because the kid Magus is already having his way with him. As you might have guessed, this younger version of the Magus has a lot of pent-up aggression regarding the Universal Church of Truth and what they've done to his life. Basically, they've trapped him into always being a bad guy no matter what, because no one is going to want to give him a second chance anywhere in the vast universe. Now, despite his amazing power, Kid Magus ultimately ends up getting stopped from delivering the final blow to Patriarch when his mind-controlled slaves, now comprising pretty much every major Marvel cosmic character you can name, come to make the save. And just because the situation isn't dire enough, poor Rocket Raccoon gets his mech suit broken, which is very bad because as we set up in the previous issue, he literally needs that to live now. With the last of their resistance dealt with, Patriarch and the Universal Church of Truth are ready for their invasion of Earth now. Star-Lord, ever the optimist, tries to look at the situation half full. Oh yeah, sure, yeah, they, they beat us up and everything, but the Avengers will stop them, the X-Men, someone's gotta do it, right? Only that that's the problem, Patriarch and the Church of Truth have already decided that they're going to deal with the Avengers the same way they dealt with the Space Avengers, take over their minds, turn them against each other, wash, rinse, repeat. And wouldn't you know it, once again in this darkest of hours for the Guardians of the Galaxy, the last person who can make all the difference in the world, even if it's the last thing he does, is a sick and dying rocket raccoon. As the comic winds down, a handful of toothpick-sized Groots dig Rocket out of his machine before giving him a gun and sending him on his way. And so that was Guardians of the Galaxy issue 11, everybody, and overall I did enjoy it, even if it was mostly just an action-heavy issue. I will say Donny Cates is doing a good job really selling the severity of this situation. Oh sure, the Guardians of the Galaxies have had a lot of tough calls and close shaves before, but here he promises they're going to be forever changed. Whether that means losing a member, whether that means that Groot goes back to being his old self again, we don't know yet. Ultimately, I'd give this a 7 out of 10. Fun, breezy read, interested to see how it all shakes out. Hey there everyone, Cape Jewel again, and I want to thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. As always, if you liked what you see, be sure to like, subscribe, comment. It really helps drive engagement and helps me out too. Also, if you are a patron, which you can become for as little as a dollar a month, you will get exclusive content that no one else can ever see, and you'll get to see the Comic Multiverse podcast before anyone else too. You can check out all this and more down in the description. And until next time everyone, this has been Cape Jewel, and I'll see you all next time. Cheers.